Natalie Britton's grandmother is in her thoughts constantly, especially in this time of staying home and social distancing. I have a grandma who is alone and she struggles with loneliness um, and I thought that there must be a lot of other people in the same boat. When Natalie looked out her front door at her own neighborhood, she thought of her elderly neighbors and wondered how she could help from a distance. She got on next door and asked what people needed, but that's when she thought of a famous neighborhood, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, and something he said that stuck with her. All of us at some time or other need help. Whether we're giving or receiving help, each one of us has something valuable to bring to this world. That's one of the things that connects us as neighbors. In our own way, each one of us is a giver and a receiver. Those words sparked the idea for Natalie's giving and receiving project. It's pretty simple. She connects someone in her next door neighborhood who needs help, a receiver, with someone who can help them out, a giver. Even though, you know, we still have to follow social distancing rules and we can't be having, you know, tea together in a living room, at least we can have people checking in on those who are feeling alone and struggling. It can involve anything from phone calls to help fight loneliness, picking up groceries for people, or leaving a note like this one to brighten someone's day. She says her inbox is filling up up with people interested in the project, and she hopes all of the neighborhoods around Spokane, the state, and even the country will give the idea a try. Opening up your horizons and understanding that everybody is having a hard time and everybody's going through the same thing, um, I think is a great way to get yourself out of your own situation and a great opportunity to help people who are really, really struggling.